Oh my God, we are back and it's time to run through some sales. I'm back from a little break and I'm honestly glad to be back. The break was lovely, but it's nice to crack on and get some work done. I'm self-employed. Had a few sales that I want to go through today. I don't know how many there is, if there's going to be enough for a video, so I might tack this on to something else. It is Friday today, meaning I need to go to the post office and get some change ready for Saturday and Sunday's car boot sales because that sunshine is working overtime. Lovely weather today. As always with my vintage stuff and even some of my eBay today, I've already printed the labels. So I'll be working off of notes that I've wrote on the back of the labels. One of the things that I absolutely cannot wait to get rid of, because if you listen... driving me insane but it is the elvis clock that i paid two pounds 54 from a car boot sale now a chap named lee asked me about it but somebody called james bought it however the surname is exactly the same so i'm guessing you are the same person so lee james james lee i'm not going to say your whole surname in case you don't want anyone to know but i appreciate the purchase mate massively appreciate it be on its way to you very, very shortly. I actually sent the eBay link for this one. Nicola has picked up the weird fish for £26.99. It's not just a weird fish in here. It's a pink waffle knit weird fish top. Paid six or eight pounds from a charity shop. I can't remember the exact figure, but it's one of those two. Nicola, really appreciate your lovely. Thank you so much for picking this up and it will be on its way to you very, very shortly. Sold the Brute, paid 50 pence for this from a car boot sale. It has sold for £17.99. Pence. Oh, by the way, these are all so far eBay. There's only one better feeling than a sneeze. I was going to say that's two sneezes, but I just did four in a row. Rotring. Oh my God. I'm convinced I've got hay fever, 36 years old, and I've got hay fever. I never had it before. I bought some hay fever stuff the other day. I need to go and get it out. Rotring Compass. Please let me get through this. I paid a few quid. I've sold the other one already. Have I? I'm not sure. This one has sold for £18.04. and pence. I'm going to sneeze again. I can just feel it coming. Sam Fisher has sold for £12, way into profit now. This is from that gaming guy bundle. Looking back now, I'm thinking, man, I should have bought it all. Especially because the Jaguar and the Nez all working perfectly. But you just can't be sure at those kinds of things, can you? And £400, the money wasn't really the problem, it was the space. So if I had just bought it all, bought it all back, and loads of it was junk, I'd have lost interest in going through it, and it just would have sat for ages. But retrospectively, like I said, like I said in the video, actually, if all of this is working, retrospectively, I should have picked it all up. Hindsight is a mother. Vinted, the Puppet Co. Hedgehog paid £1.50 from a charity shop because it was the Puppet Co. Doesn't sell for much on eBay. So I whacked it on Vinted, sold it for £3.50. And £8 paid, well, kind of. I paid £13 for two things, so you could technically say £6.50. That's probably how I would look at it more than anything. But then again, I would add it to the spend of the whole day and work it out that way, so it would be even cheaper. I don't look at my items as individual prices unless I just buy one item. If I went to the car boot sale and bought one item for £100, then that item owes me £100. If I go to the car boot sale and buy 10 items for £100, then each of those items cost me £10. They owe me £10. It's just how I like to work. But anyway... List price was £8, depending on how you deduce it, however you want to do it, it doesn't matter. This sold for £20 and it's going to Ryan. Really appreciate you, mate. I know this is worth more than £20, but as mentioned before, I like to do you guys a few deals and I like to put things on Vinted for a hell of a lot cheaper than they're supposed to be. If something's on eBay for 20 quid, I'll put it on Vinted for like 12 because it's a quick sale and I haven't got to mess around with all those fees and stuff, apart from tax at the end of the year, of course. And it gives you guys a direct opportunity to purchase from me, especially if you've not bought from my Instagram before. And you know, people are always wary of things like that. It gives you a direct opportunity to come and purchase from me with the knowledge of safety from buyer protection. But I'm not gonna rob you for any kind of money. So remember, if you do want some better deals, come see me on Instagram. 20 pounds going to Ryan. Ryan, good on you, boy. And these I got from the Jammy Dodger pickup. They are T90s. They're, they sell for quite good money, to be fair, if they're in minty condition. These are not. They've got a bit of cracking in the back here. Laces are missing. Just a little bit all round grubby and tubby. But not the worst. List price, I think, was five. I paid £10 for four pairs of shoes, so £2.50. Sold them for a tenner on Vinted. Shifted them on. 
And I've also sold this Logitech laser pointer that I actually picked up another one the other day in the case that I was going to enter into Tommy Trades um, thingy bob. I had this listed for forty nine ninety nine, and was going through my eBay yesterday looking at prices going, oh my God, that's crashed. Nobody's been buying that for the last six months at that price at all. The last sale was like 18, 18, 18. So I reduced it to 19.99. And I think it sold for around that kind of money. $21.98 in total. But the chaps asked me to hold off postage, so I will. And as of Friday, that is all the sales. I actually have got a car full of packages that I need to ship that I dispatched yesterday, but don't need to go out until today. So I didn't stress myself out about it. But I'll quickly tell you what they are, just because you've seen me pick these things up. It's nice to see what they're selling for. So I sold the Adidas Original Super Courts that I said I might wear, but I'm probably not going to because they're a bit dad shoes. Paid £5, they sold for £15 on Vinted. And I think, to be honest, that even might just be it. I think I've showed you all the eBay stuff. Did I show you all the eBay stuff? I think so. Oh, there's a couple of things on eBay that I haven't shown you, but it doesn't matter. Pointless. So depending what happens for the rest of the day, that is the sales for a Friday. I've dropped the parcels off and now I need some cash. So there we have £80 in pound coins. Normally I get some 50p's, but I didn't really have much today. Uh, £50 in fivers and the rest to make up 200 Just 200 this weekend. Yeah, I've just done the postage, got the change. I'm this end of town, so I'm going to go to the charity shop. We're going to have a little flick around there, see if we can find anything. Even if I find a couple of items, it's okay. Even one item, because profit is profit, all right? And then, of course, I'm going to go and continue spending my Greg's card. Now this was gifted to me by Black Rose. She, I, I, I don't know your actual, what, what was that? I, 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 I don't know your actual name, unfortunately. I probably have seen it before, but for me, try and remember a thousand, five thousand, right, six thousand plus 13,000 names, impossible. Anyway, my point is, I was on Ricky's stream and he was giving away Costas and Greg's vouchers and the, everyone kept winning the giveaways apart from me. And I was going, no, getting down to the last Greg's and Black Rose got it. And what she done was, she messaged Rick and said, please put it in the parcel for Ricky because I've bought some stuff as well. So my lovely, I really appreciate that. Very, very kind. I've done one transaction on it already. I forgot it was in the car. I just found it again today. So I'm going to go use it. So Black Rose, really appreciate you. Much love in Greg's sugariness. Let's go charity shop. Oh, I've just noticed the disgusting impost lockers. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. But it's nice to know they're there. Even just one thing would be lovely. Goodest of mornings. Trouble. trouble, how dare you? I gather you've been picking up gentlemen off the floor. Yes, he fell over in here, didn't he, bless him? Yeah, he's not a little chap. No, I, was, uh, I had to put some back into it. Have you heard from him since? Is he all right? He's all right, yes. He, his wife messaged and oh, good. everybody concerned. Lovely. So from her, thank you. He kept getting tea and biscuits while he was sitting down. I said, I'm going to go over if that's the case. Well, no, it's only because he was diabetic. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I know what that is. I said, I'll tell you in a minute, you need to go. Well, this is a big guy, and he took out the whole of that centre section. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, Made a right uh, confusion. Funny enough, we had an epileptic lady who did exactly the same. She had a fit, and she just went, wow. Yeah, it took me a second to realise what was going on. Just don't you fall over the few Make sure you've got some biscuits if I do. You want biscuits if you fall Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Same reason why I would fall oh, over. Where's your little one? She's gone to some swimming thing today in Redden. Oh, some outdoor swimming park or something. Yeah, mum's took her. It's got to be worth that, isn't it? Yuck, 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 yuck. Jiu-Jitsu seems to be good. Another puppy company one for a big one, that is. We'll have that. Some Power Rangers. Oh my goodness. Sold. 
Sold, sold, sold. I've already looked at all these. And these. And these. If that'll fit me, I'll buy that. Yeah. So we've got these here, which I've never seen before. Eight quid. I reckon they'll be a quick, make a quick six to eight. I'm vinted on those, I reckon. Stick them up for 15, 16 quid. And then these, Tevas, platform wedged. Six quid, I reckon there's 30, 40 in those. I'm gonna buy them both, because they forget it's gonna average the spend down. What's that I've spotted? Could it be? No. But it is old St. Michael's though, isn't it? Quid. I'm not gonna get it though. Trust me, they do. So, <laughs> put it away. <laughs> Elderly lady got that. She was gonna have a glass of Coke to see if her son-in-law noticed. <laughs> I might, the other packet. I might buy them and stick them in mother-in-law's drinks. What are you trying to do? Finish her off? 62 points, but I'll have a look when I've rung this. Thank you. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, I think there's, I'm pretty sure there's a fiver. It's my favourite purchase of the year, that T-shirt is. What's it got on the front? Something rude? No. Who's Taylor Swift? Anyway, I like it. All the Swifties at the concert last night. Oh, uh, yeah. I bet they paid the earth as well. Probably. Yeah. Cool, <laughs> almost got you. <laughs> Would you want me to pay for that as well? <laughs> right, Ricky. It's twenty three fifty. You've got five pounds for it. Yes, let's so use that bad boy. You'll use that. You'll use that. Right? Let's do it. And then round it up to whatever it is, pence wise. Don't stick a twenty quid on it. Sick of getting shagged by this machine. Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure I've just achieved everything that I needed to achieve. Got the cash. Dropped the parcels. Got the Gregs. Been to the Chazza. Cashed in the couple of scratches that I had. Decided I'm not going to do them anymore. I used to cash them in and then buy more. Cash them in and buy more. And then when you lose, spend more. Can't be ah, scratch cards are so boring. Anyway, picked up some bits. What else have I done that I'm supposed to have done? I don't know. Oh. So, let's go through what I picked up. I'll tell you why I picked it up and what I think it's going to sell for. Then we've got some good little bits in there. My favourite is, of course, that t shirt. Got to close that garage door, man. It the sunlight, look, off that car. Wee. Too much. And on the seventh day, he said, let there be light. Oh, one second. Very unprofessional of me. I should have had all this sorted out before I even got into the chair, shouldn't I? That'll do. Now I've got a shine, I've got a moon face there. I'm the moon. Notifications on, but who cares? Right. What did I pick up? Well, of course, for £2, it's a 4XL lady, so I'm hoping it's going to fit me. Who's Taylor Swift anyway? Ew. She had a concert last night, apparently. Is it going to fit me? I reckon it will. Soon find out in tomorrow's car boot sale if that fits, because that's what I'll be wearing. These crockies, they are £8, and they're in good condition. I'm still going to give them a little wipe over, but for eight quid. Pre-owned, these are selling for like 24, 25 quid, 28 quid, 29 quid, all that sort of variation. So for £8, even if I stick them up for £18 now on Vinted, if I can get a quick sale on 18 except no offers, just £18, they'll be paying about, I don't know, 18, 19, 20, about 22, 23. So they're still getting it cheaper than eBay. Yeah, really good. So we'll get those up today at some point. This brand, Teva, never heard of it before, just saw it while I was in there. And thought, hmm, I've got like a little... Whenever I... This sounds silly, yeah, but if I see a brand name with a registered trademark thing there or a copyright, you know, the R or the C, I think probably worth having a quick little look. Because if it's... Listen, even cheap stuff still has the registered trademark thing, but a lot of like the janky overseas import, just fashion, quick, fast fashion clothing, which is shite, don't tend to have that. 
So anybody who wants to protect their interests, which is what they're doing with the copyright logo, if you've never heard of it before, and it's got some kind of intriguing characters for me, platforms and sandals and summer, look it up. And I did. These sell for anywhere between 20 to 80 pound pre-owned. So they're quite an expensive little piece of kit. So again, another one, we'll get those listed ASAP. They were only six pound as opposed to the Crocs. So they're a sleeper. They slept past me. Well, they didn't because I've looked it up. I used my initiative. But they slept past the charity shop, didn't they? No idea on this, but it's two pound. It's a micro net. Anything that has use, look, it has use, right? It's practical, practical. Mosquitoes are little bastards. And it's got, it looks like it's never been used. I don't know about the value. It's gonna be worth more than two pound, I hope. I'll put a screenshot up because I'm gonna, my phone's being used. But two pound, hopefully, I don't know. I've got no idea. It's gonna be a surprise to me as it is to you. Another one from the Puppet Company. Just sold the Hedgehog this morning that I showed you for three pounds 50. This one's even bigger. It's a larger one, it's an elephant, and I've never seen it with that sort of tag there before, the big spell out tag. So I'll just kick the camera. I'm having a mare, aren't we? Very unprofessional. Yeah, I've never seen it with that big tag there, so I'm guessing it's like a newer version, a newer one, but £1.50. Take that off now while we're here. Oh, fuck's sake. It's... These these stickers are like super glue, because they're on the fur, look at that. Pulled all the fur off, but you'd never know. I don't know about value, I don't know. I'll always pick up Puppet Company if it's under a couple of quid, always. Because I know I'm guaranteed to get my money back plus a little bit extra on Vinted. But sometimes anything really decent, go on eBay, 20, 30, 40, sometimes more. Universal adapter, Only I bought this because it was £2.50 and it's old, meaning it's got lots of the old adapters on it. So you've got PSP that will work on there, a few different bits and pieces. I'm always finding some, this here says, Basically, it says, powering your LCD TV, mini disc players, multimedia speakers, scanner, tape recorder, you know? So I'm always getting bits of old kit which has no power supply with it. And I'm, I can just go straight to this, have a look in there. Nine times out of ten, it's probably going to be in there, isn't it? What do we have in here? Outputs. We've got DC, 3, 4.5, 5, 6, 9, and 12. Yeah, that's going to cater to most things. So I thought it was worth a pickup. I have got a few other universal things over there, but you know. And this Power Ranger sword. It's got a couple of settings on there. What's this one? Does that just mean lower volume? Oh, you've got to press it to do it. Whatever. I'll put a screenshot up here. But the reason why I bought it, I'll tell you my thought process behind it. It's cheap, £1.50. It's Power Rangers, massive brand, massive company. It's a larger item. Don't know what else got to do with anything. It's working, but it is modern 2019. I'm guessing this connects to other things, or you can get other things that connect into it as well. I wouldn't be surprised it's Power Rangers, but it's a, a double sword, whatever. But here's a screenshot just there. Hopefully we did okay. Got the Greggs. Chocolate eclair. Margarita pizza. And a caramel cold latte, which does never taste of caramel, but it's nice. So Black Rose again, massively appreciate you for that. Had to top it up with my own cash though. The, the card's empty now. And there's another dude on here. You always, uh, Terry always sends me Greg stuff. Like little vouchers, go, get a coffee on me, mate. Get a sausage roll on me, mate. Terry, I massively appreciate it, but those things have like, I think I think you're supposed to, wherever you get them from, I think you download them for the day, you've got to use them in that day, otherwise they expire. Basically, they expire before I can use them. So they sent me two now and they've both expired. But regardless, Terry, appreciate that as well. 
I'll always happily accept grapes. Right, you've had some sales, you've seen a bit of charity shop pickup, you've seen some parcels, some cash, some things, what things are worth and all that kind of stuff. I think it's time for me to leave now, get that GoPro charged, ready for a Saturday car boot sale tomorrow. Come on, I'm going to spend it all. Well, most of it, hopefully. Because the more you spend, the more we earn. Take care, you beautiful lot. See you on the next one. Ta-ta.